Hi guys, PD here, welcome to the channel, welcome to another new video. There's a brand new VR mod out for Valhelm. This is one of the most popular games on Steam at the moment. I feature the game in VR with a program called Vorpex. Now for those of you who don't know what Vorpex is, Vorpex is a 3D injector. It turns 2D games into 3D games. But now someone's made a mod for the game, so you don't need Vorpex. All you need to do is download the mod. Now the first thing you need to do, you need to go to this website, Nexus Mods. I'll leave a link to this uh, website, this page, in my description below. So here we are, look, this is the web page for the, for the mod itself. There's some instructions here. Now you will need to install some more programs to get this to work. Really, really easy to do. I tried it this morning, it worked fine. We need to click on manual download and you'll get a prompt telling you you need to download this other program as well. So just hit this link here, open in a new tab, and it's the Belpian X pack. So you need to download this, store it on your PC somewhere, go back, and we also need to download the VR mod. So click on download there. So you should have two files downloading. So once you've downloaded these two files, you need to extract them both. So we're going to extract this one first. And we're going to do the same with the mod. Right click, extract. So we now got the two files. Now we need to find the Steam folder where the game is stored. So if you've got the game on Steam, go to the game in your library, right click, go to properties, go to local files, and if you click on browse, that's where the game has been stored on your PC. So here we are, look, this is it's in my D drive, Steam library, Steam apps, common, Valheim. So now all we need to do is go to where you downloaded these two files, open up the uh, Bepin X, and again open up this folder here. You need these files here, so drag these across into here. Go back, do the same again, go into the, uh, the VR mod. And we need to drag these two folders across as well. And that's it. So now we've got the mod installed and the additional files. We can quit these. Now you need to make sure SteamVR is running. So click on SteamVR. Okay, so before you launch the game, you need to um, make sure that the uh, Steam desktop is turned off. So. Right click on the game folder, again go to properties and these two boxes here make sure they're ticked off. If you leave these on the game boots up into a 2D cinema, there's no 3D, no VR. So make sure these are off. And then when you play the game you've got two options. Make sure you select the top option. The mod is not working with the uh, Vulcan version of the game. So make sure you select the top version and then click on play. I'm going to record my headset now. Let me go back. And we're going to launch the game. Okay guys, here we are inside the game lock. This is uh, Valhelm with the VR mod. Now the developer of this mod has said there's some issues still with some of the graphics, so we might need to turn the bloom off. There's like some uh, distortion effect. So you can start turning some of these off. Turn bloom off, turn that off.
Okay, so that's a lot better now. I'm going to start again. Now this is a beta VR mod, so the developer is still working on it. Still being tweaked on. I'm going to continue my my character from my Warpex video. I'm not going to explain the game, how you play the game, it's a survival game guys. I'm just going to compare this with the uh, Vorpex version. Okay, so here we are guys, I'm inside, okay, this looks really cool. Now you, um, you can look around you, you've got full VR lock. Okay, let me uh, work out what the um, controls are. It's my menu. Okay, guys, we're in the world. Look at this. Yeah, this looks really, really nice. Now with the Vorpex version of the game guys, you can only play the game in immersive screen mode, which is like a giant 3D cinema. So this is proper VR now, this is a full VR lot. And I have to say, I do prefer to play games with the VR mod. Don't get me wrong, Vorpex is still amazing. If games don't have VR mods, then Vorpex is the only other way to play these games. And like I said, this is all being tweaked. I do believe I've got like a bow and arrow at the moment, so... Might not be able to kill anything. Oh, I killed a pig. This mod still needs a lot of work guys, it's really hard to see your inventory, that sort of thing, your hands. I can see my shadow look, so that's punch. I've got a bow somewhere, okay there we go. So I'm having to look up to my top left to use my inventory. Here comes a piggy. Okay, punch the pig. I'm using my um, arrow keys to scroll through the... Uh, I'm being attacked something. Another pig. So this is still early days, but this is quite impressive, guys. And if you don't have Vorpex, then this is going to be ideal for you. So I'm just having a quick look around the world. Yeah, this is really, really cool. This is a really good start. Oh my axe. Okay, can I see my bow? Also, the uh, producer of the mod has only tried this on the index, so this menu might be out of sync with me playing on the Rift S. My crosshair is like to the right of my screen. At the moment guys, I'm getting a better experience with this game in Vorpex because everything's in the right place. Um, I, I must admit though, the mod feels really, really nice. It's nice to be able to look around and not see the edge of my screen. Kill the pig. Okay, here comes uh, one of these nasty creatures. These guys look really cool in, uh, 
in VR. Okay, I've lost all my weapons. Because my crosshairs are to the right, I'm unable to um, pick things up. There are tweaks to the mod as well, guys, so... Be sure to um, check out all the tweaks. Come here, mate. Let me bash you. Okay, I've got my bow. See, I can't, I can't use my bow properly. I'm firing arrows, but... Okay, can I grab... Stick instead. Bash him with a stick. Yeah, I'm struggling to pick things up. I'll be keeping an eye on the mod, guys. As soon as it's working really, really nice, I'll get back to you with another video. At the moment, I'm unable to play the game like this. Here's Bambi. I've lost my house. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave a like and subscribe. Be sure to my little bell. And I'll see you in the next one. I can hear some bees in here. Yeah, beehive. I've lost my house. Where's my house gone? I should be able to see my house at the night time because of the light. Also, some really cool effects with the... Uh, like the pollen floating past my head.